let's talk about this one of the most wanted species the cause of dengue fever The disease is also known as breakbone fever, dandy fever, and dengue hemorrhagic fever. What is exactly dengue fever? A dengue fever is most an important anthropod-borne viral disease in humans, which is transmitted by Aedes mosquitoes. These are Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus. It is widely distributed in subtropical areas like the Philippines. I am Dengue Virus! Kung titignan mo, meron siyang single-stranded RNA virus and the characteristic of the mosquito is stripe. These mosquitoes are found in urban or suburban areas, sa mga factory areas. Ang mga species na to ay gustong-gustong manirahan sa mga gulong, sa vases, and sa mga household materials. Ang lamok ng Aedes aegypti ay gustong-gustong manirahan sa cold environment. The Philippines' dengue season months are May to November. How does it spread? Katulad ng sinabi kanina, ang mga lamok na yung dengue ay stripes ang itsura. These uninfected species will attack a dengue fever patient. Oh, I'm not feeling well. Maninipsep ng dugo galing sa infected na pasyente and they're going to transfer it to a patient na hindi infected ng virus. So what is the incubation period? Or yung time na mula na nakagat ka ng lamok hanggang sa nag-develop ka ng mga signs and symptoms. The symptoms may start to appear from the first 3 to 14 days. Signs and symptoms includes high grade fever or mataas na lagnat, headache o paninakit ng ulo, severe joint and muscle pain, or pananakit ng mga kasukasuan, nausea and vomiting, or pagsusuka. Isa pa rito ay ang fatigue, or, or pagkapagod, rashes on the skins, or may mga pantal-pantal sa iyong mga braso, mukha, at buong katawan, and pagtatae ng may kulay na red. Sa mga kababaihan, nagiging heavy ang kanilang menstruation period. May dulot ding respiratory symptoms like cough, sore throat, and nasal congestion. Parang nakakaranas ka ng flu-like infection. After 3 to 7 days, there is fever breaks. And if there is fever breaks, either the person will get better or go for hospitalizations. According to WHO guidelines, any of the following symptoms are warning signs of the development of severe dengue hemorrhagic fever. So what can be the complications of this disease? Dengue hemorrhagic fever is the most serious form of dengue infection. It is defined by four key features. There is an increase of blood vessel permeability leading to plasma leakage into the surrounding tissues and lack of plasma in the bloodstream. Kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng low platelets and bleeding. The tendency, severe hemorrhagic bleeding na pwedeng apektuhan ang ating utak. The low platelet count also is severe life-threatening concern because of the leakage of the plasma. Kapag ito ay nangyari, there is a dangerous pockets of fluids in our lungs and in our abdomen. There is also isn't enough of fluid left in the blood vessels to circulate. The inability to circulate blood will cause the patient shock. The treatment of shock requires already hospitalization in the intensive care unit and needing close observation and monitoring. Ang ibig sabihin ng shock ay bumababa na ang mga vital signs ng pasyente dahil sa sobrang pagdurugo nito sa loob ng kanyang katawan. Minsan pa, ang pasyente ay suka ng suka ng dugo. That leads to the severe complication of shock. The doctors can diagnose dengue infection with a blood test to check for the virus. So if you become sick and traveled from a tropical area, please tell your doctor as this will allow your doctor to evaluate the signs and symptoms that you are having. This disease in the early stage is self-limiting. So rest as much as possible. Keep yourself hydrated. Uminom ng 
ng malaming tubig. Take paracetamol for fever. Note, do not take aspirin or ibuprofen kasi baka magkaroon ng falls doon sa bleeding. For severe cases, go for hospitalization. For intravenous fluids, blood transfusion, and other treatment. So, laging tatandaan, ang early detection and treatment ay napaka-importante para maiwasan ang komplikasyon katulad ng pagkakaroon ng shock or severe bleeding sa mga internal organs and outside the body. Preventive Tips for Dengue Fever Avoid bites of mosquitoes. So, kailangan-kailangan natin mag-use ng mosquito repellents. Or kung wala naman, mag-stay at home na lang tayo and keep yourself covered. Magsuol ng mga pajama or jacket. Avoid standing water. Tapon ang mga tubig sa mga lata or mga galon and sleep under mosquito net. Since dengue is a community responsibility, we need to work hand-in-hand hand together with our neighbors. Clean the environment because Aedes mosquitoes need only a small amount of water in accumulated in a container para maggrow. Mosquito breeding in public areas is a risk to you and your family. So, have a clean and healthy environment and keep your neighborhood free of disease-causing mosquitoes. It's for your own good. Do not throw bottles, plastic bottles, tires, coconut shells, empty vessels, broken and crystals and other objects outside your home or workplace that can collect water and breed mosquitoes. So ensure proper disposal and or recycle the trash. Siguraduhin ang tamang pagtatapon ng basura at kung pwede pa namang gamitin ang basura, gawin ir or i-recycle na lamang ito. If water cannot be drained, make sure na galaw-galawin natin ang tubig kasi gustong-gusto ng mga Aedes mosquitoes na magmabuhay sa stagnant waters. Kailangang siguraduhin natin na ang ating environment ay malinis para hindi na mamuhay ang mga Aedes mosquitoes. So stop also dengue hemorrhagic fever and keep our family healthy. A little bit of reminder, always remember that there is no specific antiviral drug available. Supportive care is advised. Stay well hydrated. Avoid aspirin and NSAIDs. Control the fever. Avoid mosquito bites. And for the severe cases of dengue hemorrhagic fever, close observation and monitoring, especially for the vital signs. Hydrate the patient with IV fluid administration as ordered and coagulopathy as ordered. Once dengue hemorrhagic fever is not managed in a timely manner, it may cause severe complication to the and patient and can lead to death. So I guess that's all for this video. See you again. Bye!